Hello guys, Sean from Design Gaff here and in this video I want to give this photo a little magical effect and this is a photo I got of my daughter Emily during her Easter egg hunt on Easter Sunday and so there's a couple of wee changes we can make to it but the first thing I guess is to remove my daughter and sister here from the background so what I always like to do is make a duplicate of the photograph just in case you want to ever revert back to it so this is going to be called the backup and we'll call this one photo okay so in order to remove people from the background you have to make sure you rasterize the image it is rasterized so I don't have to worry about that so in order to do this I am going to get my lasso tool because the background is pretty similar it's not going to be that difficult so you're just going to make quick selection now you can try the content aware so I'm going to hit shift and F5 and that brings up this little fill area so content aware is what I will try first of all and it done a pretty decent job over here and just going to remove the three here as well again hit shift f5 content aware and click ok control d to deselect okay and that's not bad what i will do is maybe this area is just doesn't look right so make a quick selection I will grab this tool here which is the patch tool and just drag to a different area of the photograph that you want okay so that's okay just do it a few times just to try and get it get it right you want to have to make sure the blurriness is correct with this little blue thing here as well I'll remove it okay there we go Next thing to do is to make this photo bigger. Now when you are making the photograph bigger guys make sure to get the backup bigger as well just in case you need it. You want all at the same size. So make sure both layers are selected and I will put her right around there so this is kind of going with the rule of thirds in photography where you know you have these imaginary lines you've one coming down one coming down around here and then you've got two going across so i want to leave this area kind of blank so we might fit add something into it okay so next thing is i want to blur the background out a wee bit more um, but I don't want to blur out Emily so what I'm going to do is make a quick selection of Emily here so just quick selection tool make this brush a little bit there we go make sure we get our legs okay so I don't want this area in here so I'm going to click on alt or hold alt and just deselect that area Now this is going to be just a quick selection guys for the sake of the video I don't want to keep you all day but you know you can take a wee bit more time on it Okay guys, so there we go, we got a quick selection here and um, I'm not going to worry about fine tuning the hair yet because we will fix that later here so make sure you've got your photo selected uh, from there I'm going to hit Control and J that is going to give me a duplicate of that layer okay so if we just hide these two below you can see I have got this duplicate now it is a very very rough selection but we'll not worry about that just yet so we've got the backup, we've got the photo, and we've got layer one. We'll cut this. We'll call this the cutout. Okay, so there we go. 
Now let us blow the background. So we are going to be blowing the photo here. So if I just hide this, this is the photo. And this is the one we're going to be blowing. So I'm going to go to filter, blur gallery and tilt shift blur. Okay, so you see you got a few lanes here now. We've got these two solid lanes. Now everything inside of these two solid lanes are going to be in focus. So I will... Put this maybe around our knee and probably put this one up around just where the hedge is here. Okay then, once you go outside them solid lanes, this is where things are going to start to become unfocused. Okay, so once you get past the dotted lanes, everything is going to be pretty much out of focus. So, I am going to... Take this up to around here. This one up maybe to just to around her ankles. Just a wee bit more maybe. Okay, and then you got this wee lane in the center here, guys. So you know the more you this brings up the blower pretty much. So depending on how much blower you want to give it, um I wouldn't be going overboard with it. I'm gonna to go to around 40, 45 maybe for this. I'm gonna click OK here. And that is what we get. Okay, but Emily's out of focus. But we have the cutout here, so if I bring this back, it brings her back into focus. But fortunately though, you know, from with the blower, it kind of gives this little glowy effect behind her and we don't really want that. So I'm going to hide the cutout again. Again, I'm going to go to the photo here. And just like we did at the start, I'm going to get the Laszlo tool. Just make a quick selection. And then I'm going to go to the patch tool here. I'm going to click on my selection, drag it to an area that looks similar to the background. In this case, it is pretty easy because the whole background is pretty similar. I might have to do this a few times just to kind of get the correct colors. Okay, so that is not bad. Um, okay, so with that then, I um, now you always, the good thing about this is you always have this back up here and I think in fact we probably will need it soon enough. But, okay, so with this I'm gonna bring cut out back again and you can see now that glowiness is kinda gone. Fortunately, with the cutout here, guys, you can you can see that you lost all the fine kind of hairs coming from her head. Plus, you got these real sharp kind of details. But that is where our backup layer is going to come in handy. So I'm going to bring that backup layer back. So you can't really see it now because it is hid behind all these other photos. But if I click on this photo layer, give it a layer mask, and then get my brush soft make sure your brush is nice and soft okay so i'm going to go up here now to emily's hair and make sure i've got the black brush selected make sure you're on the layer mask and then just nice and softly we're going to paint just around the edges of her head just to bring back some of them fine hairs that she has you can do this around the edge as well just to kind of Hide them sharp details. Okay, and I think with this here area though, I will go to my cutout maybe and just tidy it up. Okay, like I said, guys, you know, take your time with the selection. You know, the more time you take with the selection. 
the better the result you will get. Oops, too much there. And just over here. Okay, so there we go. Now it's a bit messy down here as well. So what I'm going to do is again select your photo layer and select your layer mask. Now I'm going to get my soft brush again, make it a bit bigger. And what I will do is just paint back a little bit of the detail around here, then bring the opacity down and in a wee bit more. Bring the opacity down again and a little more. Okay, there we go. So, background's nice and blurred, foreground's blurred, um, and Emily is completely in focus. So, the next thing we can do here is I am going to hold the shift control alt and E. Make sure first of all you have this top layer selected. Shift control alt and E that will put all of these three layers onto their own layer. So if I just hide these three, you can see now you've got one layer on top that combines all of them photos. So what I'm gonna do with that is give it a curves adjustment maybe we'll just bring it down a little bit add a little bit of darkness to it like so and then on top of that i will give it a levels now i'm going to do here with the levels and click this little white triangle here and drag it to the left that brings the darkness down around there okay and then with the layer mask selected here I'm going to get my brush 100% hardness click somewhere on the photo maybe in the middle oops make sure your opacity is at 100 here first of all you click right there okay and then with that I am going to to control and T to transform it. I'm going to drag it over here because I still want to make use of this area. Okay, something like that. I'll right click here and distort. Just bring it down to our feet here as well. Yeah, once you're happy with your selection, then we're going to go make sure you got your layer mask selected again and just slowly start bringing the feather on it up until you have something that you're you're happy with. Okay, that's cool enough there. Okay, and then what we will do here at the top, I am going to get a new layer, get my brush again. I have some sunlight brushes here that I will use. I like the first one. So I'm gonna select it, flip it around so it's pointing up. I wanna have this coming out of the basket here. So around there, I'll do. Maybe a little bit, back a little bit. And make sure it's white selected. And from there, I'm just gonna click around there. Okay, so that's a wee kind of a light ray coming from the basket. Then you can bring the opacity down because you don't want to completely hide our face. Twenty-five, maybe twenty, twenty percent. I'm gonna give call this light, and I will give it a layer mask as well. Okay, with that layer mask selected, I'm gonna get my soft brush once more. And we want this light shining out of the basket, and it's kind of on the basket here, so I'm just going to brush that away. What I will also do, don't want to too much there, is it? Okay, what I'll also do is get the gradient and just take away the top 
here. Make sure you have black selected. Okay, probably too much. Okay, I like that. Good. And then I will give it another layer. And with this layer, we will give it some some stars, maybe. All right, so let's get one of these stars. What's that like? Okay, that's not bad. So it's going to be smaller. And I am going to go to this little folder here. Go to the scattering. And we'll add some scattering to the brushes. Now you can see down here in the bottom the effect that's going to give it. Count. I don't want too many. I don't want to overdo this. Shape dynamics. We will change the angle. 100% size then we'll go to 30 maybe we would see okay so this is going to be the stars so let's see what happens um so just gonna okay I will have some coming over here Try a few different ones, maybe. Okay, I'm just going to go into scattering and scatter it 100%. Okay, let's see that. Okay, that's cool enough. And again, I'm going to give that a little mask as well and get the gradient. And I'm going to try and fade out these ones, just kind of blown off into the wind, just like that. And okay, there we go. Now, what you can do is again make sure you've got that top layer selected. Shift, Control, Alt, and E once again. Again, that's putting everything onto one layer. Right, with this layer, I am going to convert it to a smart object so I can go into the camera raw filter here so go click on filter camera raw filter and this is where we can kind of add some fine tuning to the photograph so I'll go to the basic first you can bring up the temperature of it here a little bit if you want or make it a little cooler but because it's it's Easter it's a nice warm warmish kind of time exposure I think is okay for this photo Highlight shadows. Uh, we'll try the shadows down a little bit, shall we? And uh, texture clarity. I think I don't want to really affect that too much because you know, the text clarity kind of sharpens the image up a lot. Yeah, you know, I'd like to keep this nice and soft. Okay, we can go down to the color mixer here, maybe, and just. See, pop the greens out a little bit more if you want. And we've got magentas on our wellies here. Like that's fine though. Okay, and then I usually with these usually finish finish it up with a vignette. Boy, we can already have a vignette in this, so we don't really need to touch it too much. You can go a little bit. Um, if it was a movie style poster or something really epic, I'd be adding in a little bit of grain. But again, I don't think it, you need it on this photograph. Okay, when you're done, just click on OK. Okay, um, with this, it's just a subtle little change with this here, guys. And um, what I will do is Control T it, maybe just. Bring it down this way a little bit. Okay, and there that is what we get. So I will just put all that into a group. Okay, so this is the before and this is the after. So a few simple little changes to it can give it a really kind of a magical effect. Um, so again, one more time, that is before. And that is the after.
So guys, I hope you liked the video and I certainly hope you learned something from it. If you did, please make sure to give it the thumbs up. And if you want to see more Photoshop tutorials and postal printing, etc., please subscribe to the channel.